just I just like the quality of ideas that came out of art, partly the beauty itself, but also the way that art spoke, really, when, when you just stood and listened to it. I want people to go back to museums and art galleries and even just Googling people on the, on the web and find out more. And I traveled around Europe, I had my thumb out hitchhiking, everything. that's when I went to North Africa and Middle East. And looked and learned and listened and smelled and everything as I was going around. That was a better education than university, I think. Always the, the students, they are the ones with the bright young ideas and a lot of them don't have a huge amount of sympathy, I think, for old art. Because you have to remember that all artists for a long, long time learn by going down to the local museum and copying Rubens or Poussin, you know, one of the big names from the past. You always look backwards for what art was supposed to look like. And we've stopped doing that, for better or for worse. So people don't have the kind of reverence for history. We don't learn from the past anymore. We think we can start from the beginning all the time. That's a horrible question. I hate that. I, I don't know. I have ten favorite artists every week. That's the answer to that question. No, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think, no, to me, to be serious, the greatest artist of all time is Michelangelo. There's absolutely no question, no doubt. Uh, just the depth, the range. He's untouchable. But talk about a miserable bastard. I mean, if you want the idea of, of uh, you know, melancholia in the artist, that's him. He wallowed in it. The disease for the artist is this distinction between what you can do and what you think you ought to be doing. There's always a gap, because you have this my idea in your mind's eye, but your hand, your brush, whatever your tool you're using, cannot quite get there, because your ideas are too good. And that's where artistic depression sets in. That's the disease of genius. The artists ask questions. If you want to be happy, don't ask questions, just go dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. The more sensitive you are, the more questioning you are, the more miserable you're probably going to be, because there are no answers. You look around the world and everything is so nasty and horrible and hurtful. And I mean, you hate to go on and on about world peace. It sounds like the Miss America pageant. But if we did have more education in schools, it's funny because I, I, I can be a snob if I want to be, but mostly what I'm a snob against is, I guess, just ignorance. Uh, people who don't even try to learn about things and, and are sort of selfish in their ignorance. You're thinking, well, how in God's name can we be so stupid and be so destructive? And then I sort of thought, well, you've got to be thinking positively, thank God we've got anything left at all because we're so stupid. So just get along. There's a lovely, lovely painting by Renoir called The Luncheon of the Voting Party, which is all about just fresh air and friendship and this sort of celebrates the new leisure time that people were starting to enjoy. And it's just Renoir with all of his friends, his mistress, his future wife, and his just general acquaintance. But they're out and they're around this table with this lovely still life of the food they've been enjoying and the wine. And there's just the breeze is blowing through it. There's a little river in the background with some sailing boats. It's just so immediate. And, and, and so I think I would put myself in there somewhere.